Hello everybody, it's 20 past midnight on Friday the 24th of November here in Malta and thanks to the yellowy orange glow I look like I've probably got some form of jaundice. However, John and I are happily ensconced in our new ensuite room here at the Salon Hotel. San Anton Hotel. We've had a great first night. We've met some lovely people. Um, well, I've met some lovely people. John, bless him, has been so tired that he's been sort of engrossed in his gaming machine. But that's fine because we're on holiday and that's what it's all about. But we're having a great first night and I've really looked forward to this for so long. I can't believe it's actually happening. Uh, we've had a room upgraded and the hotel staff are bending over backwards to be nice to Papa Puff and his husband. And we're looking forward to a wonderful week of R&R, &R, a lot of catching up with old friends and making some new ones, hopefully finding that forever home that will take us forward into the next stage of our ministry. Just ask that you keep praying for us and that that which is needed for us to be able to do the work that God has called us to do will take place over the next six and a half days. Uh, we're going to bed shortly after we've had a couple of libations and some of our favourite multi snack, which some of you may have seen if you've been here before. The famous twisties. I imagine it's probably in reverse to you, is it? Looks reverse to me. Nice, cheesy, twisty corn snacks. And we're very much looking forward to having a couple of glasses of wine and sharing some twisties together. And then probably collapsing in a heap on our beds and getting some sleep and getting back into the normal run of things from tomorrow onwards. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, we we'll hope you're having as blessed a time as we are. There's John. Say hello, John. John. Say hello, John. Hello. Say hello, John. John is very, very, very tired. And I don't blame him. He said about two and a half hours sleep in the last four years, no, no, 45 days, and is exhausted, bless him. So we'll probably miss breakfast tomorrow, but we'll make up for it by going out to a cafe or something and having something nice and totally unhealthy to start the day off with um, before we decide what we're going to do for the day. But we send you all our love and saying we're having a great time so far. So pleased to have caught up with an old friend already, uh, Marita, who is the reception manager here at the hotel who we haven't seen for three years and in the meantime has had a wonderful new baby boy, the third boy she's been blessed with. She's had no girls yet, but she's had three boys, all very healthy, and she recognised us as soon as we walked through the door. I have to admit, hand on heart, no disrespect to her, I'd completely forgotten who she was, and I think John probably had two because we were so tired, but there was something about her face that we recognised and it was nice to be reunited with her and she's moved us to an upgraded room. There you are, you can see it through there. Nothing very grandiose to look at. We've taken the covers off the bed because it's about... What was the temperature? Do you know, John? Um, it's about 18, something like that. 18 or 19 degrees, we've taken the counterpanes off the bed, beds, and shoved the beds together, and we have a nice dressing table, and a TV, and air conditioning, and a really nice bathroom, which has got a disabled accessible bath and a shower, which is lovely. We have a view over the whole of the complex, um, just here to the right of this umbrella, which you, uh, which you can see there, is the swimming pool, which we will show you more of uh, during the week. So I'm having to sort of look at this from the side and work out where I am. 
There's a beautiful swimming pool and then the main hotel is over in that part. It's currently being renovated at the moment, so we're eating and drinking at the Santa Maria, which is the sister hotel to the San Anton, where we are here. And uh, we had a very nice dinner this evening, albeit that we had to get in there, choose it and eat it all within five and a half minutes because they were about to shut the restaurant. But that was down to how long it took the bus driver to get us to our destination. Um, but we're now about to have, as I say, a glass of red wine. The world famous, for those of you who have heard us talk about it, Lacrima Vitae, the tears of life. And we're having a nice couple of glasses of red wine and our Twisties cheese snacks. And then at some point we'll go, oh, and collapse into bed. So wherever you are, whoever you're with, whatever you're doing, we we'll hope you're feeling as blessed as we are. And as you can see, the bishop's in shorts, the vicar general is in three quarter lengths, and his glasses are looking very serious. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing, vicar general? John! I'm on YouTube. John's on YouTube. As I say, we're, we're both exceptionally tired, but as normal, I've got the gift of the gab, and John is very, very quiet. So we'll probably miss breakfast, as I said, but wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a great night, great day, and may you be blessed as we are. Namaste.